hi everybody so welcome back to part four of the series that says things that i would not do as a legal practitioner right so in case you're new here my name is yolanda Mnyengeza. i'm an attorney who specializes mainly in estate planning and wealth protection so what is that other thing that i would not do as a legal practitioner well the other thing i definitely will not do is to leave a property as a family home and register it or leave it in the names of my children particularly if i've got kids that are more than one now the reason why i say this would not be an ideal option for me is because i have seen what has happened in the past right so many parents have done this saying that they're leaving a family home then all of a sudden when they pass away so all the siblings will start saying, listen, we want our share of that property, forcing whoever is now staying on that property to sell so that they can get part of the share, right? Because in most instances, those kids that you've left behind, or rather, you know, those adult children you've left behind will not necessarily have the funds to buy the other ones out who now have started to say they want their share. So, which then forces everybody in that particular situation, you know, to just sell and people get their own share of that property. If I really have the intention or the mindset to leave a property as a family home, you know, with the idea that if things go south in the world, at least they have a roof over their head, then I would rather place it in a trust somebody would say listen why a trust so what a trust does is this it it doesn't allow ownership to go to other individuals because this property now is placed in a trust however those individuals who are your children will still benefit and be able to live on that property however they cannot sell that property see now you've left the property as a family home and it can continue to function as a family home and it continue to be so it can continue to be so for the next generation and the next depending on your own intention have you not achieved what you wanted of course you have right or the other option or thing that i always say people need to think about or i would consider if I'm concerned about the future of my children and I'm concerned about them not having a home, should, for instance, life turn against them, if it's possible, I would rather sell my properties as soon as I pass away. I'd leave an instruction that everything be sold and my kids then be bought individual properties, even if it's RDB houses, right? at least they will have a roof over their head if anything were to happen in the future another question somebody else would probably pose is wouldn't that be the same thing as the family house because now it's in the name of each of those kids well it would mean the same thing but now the nicest thing is that since you have stated that individual properties be bought for different or individuals right each one of the siblings at least if one of those kids or children you've left behind decides to sell their own it doesn't affect another right the other continues to have a roof over their head they have ownership of their own because this is where the disadvantage is at with these family houses is that once people are registered and they're specifically named as equal owners of this property the others will start putting pressure for the, uh, the property to be sold and the one who's dependent will also now have to be part of this whole thing and they don't have a roof over their head which is a bit unfair if you think about it so this is why i would never leave a family home or a property specifically in the names of my children if they are more than one so this is the end of part four listen if you want us to come with a part five comment below in the comment section and let's hear your thoughts as well maybe we could do a part five or maybe we could start a different series we'll see you later